Extreme Flight Outlaw. It's uh, made for gas, but I've converted it to electric. And my friend who owns Michael Dan custom did these coping motors for it. We're pulling about 2100 watts at 97 amps. Somewhere in there, 170, 180 miles in all with it. That thing really moves out. So it's a Scorpion motor? It's a Scorpion helicopter motor that we've modified to put on the Outlaw. What's the KV on that? It's a 1210 KV. 1210 and what prop are you using? I'm running a grappling prop on it. And what battery pack are you using? I'm using an RC batteries, 22.2 uh, volt, 6 cell, 5,000 milliamp. That thing sure moves out. What did you say you think top speed is on that? Somewhere around 175 to 180. Oh my gosh. And you're Dan Malone? I'm Dan Malone. And the uh, RC Club. And right. I own RC batteries. And what's your website? Uh, GWSprops.com. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> That's a dart. It's going. <laughs> Start doing this motor was turning so many RPM that five millimeter shaft in here was flexing in the center and was taking our magnets out. Oh my gosh! So we added two extra bearings in the center, and it improved it a bunch. But I still seen a little vibration on it. What then I did, I extended the shaft. I moved back. The shaft went back inside my mount, mm -hmm. and I've got a bearing mounted back in here. Uh, another bearing. So there's an auxiliary bearing sitting back in here. Right. So now that shaft comes all the way through, and it's locked in that bearing. So this thing is locked solid with this airframe. Mount. Huh. That solved all the problems. It took all that. I've been running this motor now for, I probably got 50 flights on it. Really? Okay. 
holding up great now. Now that, is, that solved the problem. Did you give that information back to Scorpion? Are they going to come I out with some of those? Mike, Michael Dan, which Micro uh -huh. Dan, which yeah. is uh, gobrushless.com. Go go uh huh. I wish I had my little.